Hello! Guys, it's Mother's Day weekend. Happy Mother's Day to you mommies, and we are gonna focus on you mommies today, us mommies today. Uh, this was supposed to be last week, and I was a little under the weather, so I didn't get it out, and uh, lands on Mother's Day week. God, you know best, per usual. <laughs> so I wanna start with this very well known because it's such a wonderful Bible verse. Um, and then I kind of want to unpack it. So Proverbs 31, 25 through 31, she is clothed in strength and dig dignity and she can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faith instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Mm-hmm, it's so good. So let's break it down for the ladies and the mommies here, okay? She is clothed with strength and dignity and she can laugh at the days to come. So that's you and me. And he gives us this strength for the days to come and to not have fear in the days to come because he has overcome the world. And I'll say that over and over again. And he gives us this strength and this dignity, this worth. You are worth it. He, he made you in his beautiful image. Um, and we have no fear of his amazing future and have faith in it. So she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. So through our Lord's faithful instruction and from our mamas before us, um, we offer the life lessons and the wisdom to our children and our family lines because they will take what we teach them and pass them on. And so here we are creating generations of God-fearing women and mothers, sons and daughters of faith. Sons and daughters alike, both. I know we talk about just us ladies. I know we're raising sons as well, but um, these life lessons are, you know, the things we talk about a lot of the time. I mean it for us to work in ourselves as women and then to continue to to um, spread that along to other women because obviously being a woman in itself, is a journey and um, whether or not you will have kids or not to pass along to other daughters of Christ. So going back, she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. We ain't idle. I'll say that. We're laying around, right? Sorry, we have a little heater here. You're tired and you feel like your hard work is taken for granted by those in your family. And you know what? It probably is. And that is just, you know, kind of the way it is. They don't really, people don't really understand unless they're a fly on the wall, right? And no one really is. But he sees you, mama. He sees you. Our Lord sees you. And uh, I wrote down a list of all the lovely things that he sees you do. Do you want to hear it? Here it goes. Every meal you make every late night feeding, every potty training accident, every homework assignment you help with, every restless night of worry, every scrape you bandage, every mess you pick up, every loan you offer, every lesson you teach, and every prayer you say. He sees you and he is in awe of you. You're doing, you're doing it and he is in awe. And so are all the mommies they don't maybe maybe don't know until they have their own children, but we all are here for each other, right? Or as we should we should be. So, ah, uh, I love it. Okay, her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Yeah, hubby's doing that. <laughs> I know some ladies are like, "What? Who's praising me?" <laughs> um, so we don't get enough praise, obviously, from our family um, or the ones around us. And if we are waiting and waiting for it, we're going to be disappointed. It's just the way it is. But take heart in the fact that our children 
are going to start doing things for themselves if they have not already. Some of you are empty nesters and have already dealt this and are reaping the benefits of your children appreciating you. And if they haven't, I mean, they will. I mean, or and we'll pray that they will. But um, I think that at, at some point they will realize how much we have done for them. And hopefully the men in their lives will see that as well. And I hope that they will... Um, help us in this journey to create generations of God-fearing men and women, right? So, uh, not only that, but our Lord is praising you, and I am here to do that today. You are doing good work, uh, and this Mother's Day, and, you know, just in your motherhood journey, please continue, oh, sorry, I keep playing with my hair, continue to tell these mommies that they're doing good work. Is there any, any, um mamas out there that are really holding heavy burdens for their children right now. I know there are mommies out there that have sick children or children that are stray and um, are kind of falling away from, they're just off track right now. And let's be there, give those mommies advice, help them in those hard moments, pray for them and uplift them, tell them that they're doing good because this mommy journey, this motherhood journey is is hard, but of course so rewarding. Um, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. And that's you and me, and I'll take that compliment all day. I love it. This is in the Bible, too, you guys. It's, it's so good. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So this is just a hard pill to swallow sometimes, but appearance means nothing. And the things we have, the things we um, want, they mean nothing. Um, obviously the things that are good for us and good for our children and are in line with what our Lord wants and with his word are good. And we should do that um, if they're going to make us better people, of course. But a path of faith is what will give our children full fulfillment in this life and eventually fulfillment in heaven and teaching our daughters okay this point i really want to drive home teaching our daughters that external beauty means absolutely nothing for a minute it feels good but a woman who fears the lord is to be praised right that's what the real beauty comes from man is when you have God, God fearing ladies, those are, those are the, that's the real beauty. And, um, that's the real, real joy when they know that. So we as mothers know what it is like to try to do all things right for our children and to raise them. And we worry, we're unsure of the path that we should take and we aren't meant, mean, meant to do it on our own. So of course we lean on him for that spiritual wisdom and we need to find our village. Um, it's really funny. I This was part of what I was going to mention today. But just last night, I was on a, a group call with some mommies and friends and a, a, new, a friend of mine who has a brand new baby girl. And she already knows within a week it takes a village with her mother-in-law and mom already helping. And it's it's just one. So just one baby. And it already needs four plus people to help. Um, so we need to be there and helpful for our mamas. And we pray that our Lord will also take care of our children when in the moments that we are not able to, because at some point we do have to let them go and just pray and make their own decisions. Of course we give guidance, but um, just have faith that our Lord will take care of them. And that's so hard, right? It's so hard, but he has overcome the world. <laughs> I'm excited today. I don't have any kids in the house. It's a Wednesday. I'm re recording this early, but uh, yeah, I'm all alone, like singing my worship music today and feeling the Holy Spirit, feeling them. Um, give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gates. So your efforts are seen and will be rewarded when our girls become mothers and when our children just become parents, 
I've kind of already said that, but um, pray to continue to teach this down our line. And we pray for daddies to join us in these efforts for son and daughters alike. And uh, one of the best rewards is knowing that um, his word is living through our children and continuing so that we can keep this, uh, this crazy world a good place. And because um, he made it and he made us and his word shall live on and he hey yeah all good things come right heaven is a good reward too <laughs> that's a really good one so all this hard work will not go unseen and you will be rewarded eternally for sure uh not in that verse but a verse that is very um relative to all of this uh proverbs 22 6 train up a child in the way he should go even when he is old, he will not depart from it. He sees you in your struggles, mama, and he will be there if you let him. And you're doing amazing. Um, This message is not just for Mother's Day. I hope you come back and listen to it. Not just on Mother's Day, any day, because we're mommies every day, right? So besides that, I'm going to pray. And um, thanks for watching. Share, subscribe you guys um and yes i want to spread the word of this amazing group so we can continue to grow and create more generations of god fear ladies right okay sorry <laughs> on a whole other level today <laughs> all right jesus um we praise and thank you for blessing us with children jesus uh raising them in a long hard it's a long hard road and one best taken with you carrying us. We know what is to be what it is to be women of Christ, mothers of Christ, and we pray that we can create generations of the same. We are filled with love for our kids, but we are tired. We are tired, God. Give us peace, comfort, and faith to know that you will care. Care for us and take care of everything. Amen. I don't know if I was just cut out from that video, but amen. Uh, happy Mother's Day, girls, ladies, mamas. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.